Welcome to English Composition 101. I'm the instructor Don Cardlow. Again, welcome to the course. Um, if you have difficulty hearing my voice, please turn up the volume on your video player so that you can actually hear my voice. My name, cell number, office, and contact information. You'll find them on the syllabus. If you have a special learning challenge or a special learning need, please contact Dr. Sadie Jarvis, the ADA coordinator here at Claflin University here, so that we can document it and that we can conform to the federal laws by uh, accommodating your learning need in the context of this course. Now the books for this course shall be the Brief Bedford Reader, the 11th edition by Kennedy, Kennedy and Aaron. And also the Prentice Hall Reference Guide is also required for this course. I recommend also, for the sake of convenience, since this is a totally online course, that you maybe buy yourself a flash drive to save your assignments on so that you may transfer them from computer to computer wherever you might go to make completing the coursework more convenient also. Um, you'll also need access to the Claflin email server, the Blackboard server, the Claflin University Blackboard server, where all the assignments will be posted and where you can access them, uh, hopefully 24 hours a day. I also recommend, for the sake of convenience, that you download on your computer some free PDF conversion software. I think I use Primo PDF for converting web sources into PDF files, which makes it easier to save the documentation for research. And also, this is also very important also, you probably want to get access to your computer and have a sec arrange access to a second computer with a reliable internet connection just in case your primary computer breaks down because often with online courses, uh, for some reason, I don't understand why, but it does happen, breakdowns of computers do happen. And if your computer breaks down, you can expect to not be able to use it for at least two weeks to have it repaired. So also have access to a backup, maybe in a local library or here on campus at one of the computer labs also. It also helps if you have a scanner in addition in to, as an accessory to your computer, it'll also help you to scan handwritten documents into PDF format and to email a PDF for, to me also for some assignments. Or if you have access to a fax machine, that might help also. You could fax it to me. As for the grading scale of this course, we'll be writing at least one major paper every week. I mean, not every week, excuse me. As for the grading scale, we'll be writing one major paper every month in addition to several weekly assignments, which we'll complete over the semester. Each paper should, each major paper or monthly major paper should compose, comprise about 10% of the final grade with a, a fifth paper and a research paper, which will be another 15% of the final grade. Class participation, as marked on weekly discussions, weekly discussions that we'll have on the discussion boards inside the Blackboard server, those will count about 15% of the final grade. And for your classroom participation or your discussion board participation, I'll expect you to log on at least three times per week. And also I'll expect you to 
respond substantively to at least two of the comp two of the postings that your classmates make, at least two postings substantively, and three logouts per week. And of course, uh, no flaming or abuse of the media also. 30% of the final grade will be dependent upon a portfolio, which will be a rewriting of at least three of the major papers that you complete this semester. I'll give you a chance to rewrite three of them and to send originals and the rewrites to me at the end of the semester. And that will be at least 30% of the final grade. And I will give you instructions specifically later in the semester on how to revise the portfolio how to compile the portfolio. So your I first assignment be to, I wish you to go to the discussion board, post a photo of yourself, that's optional, and I will require you to uh, tell us a few things about yourself and what you expect to uh, achieve in this course and what you expect to gain from the course. That'll be the first assignment. If you have any questions, please contact me at my cell number or my email. Thank you.